Hey everyone, I'm Louis. Welcome back. Um, looking for candy, ghost candy. <laughs> I got some. Uh, the the event, uh, um, the spooky festival is now uh, ending, and when uh, um, one of the things you can get in this event is the ghost candy. It's, it's like the currency of this event. You get this for you get it for all these uh, crests here, and the more candy you can get, the better because then you can use it here in the big pumpkin, <laughs> the big uh, purple pumpkin, and you can open, and you can get these rewards. Okay, so the grand prize will be the the spooky festival coin. So that's like they have, yeah, I guess two two main resources, two main coins, two main two main uh, uh, exchange kind of items <laughs> so I um, wanted to see uh, how lucky or not we are so we are going to open <laughs> this now we're going to, um, to to open this on the web account and then also the Facebook account and whichever account uh, gets the most wins and wins nothing <laughs> except my, <laughs> my kind of respects and the loot of course so Let's let's hope for the best and see if we can get I don't know any of these actually any of these things here is nice. Um, um, these ones um, you you get them by by trading this, but this would be the 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 best reward here, like the very best reward. The more we can get from this, the better. Let's try. Um, two hundred and fifty, just so we can know. Maybe how long this will take, or I don't know how long this will take, but how many we are entitled to open here? 57. I hope this is fast, otherwise, we'll have to really, I don't know, pause this, <laughs> open now, and see at the end what we have. Let's try, let's try. So, that's it. I wish we could have. Um, Open all buttons. So we got one spooky festival coin already. It's not so bad, I guess. And now we have mo one more. Let's keep keep counting. Two, huh? Perhaps we can pause. Uh, let's pause this, and I'll just keep opening, and then I'll unpause as we go or at the end. All right. One second there. So we got uh, one more now. That makes it three, and approximately a second. So we are back, and we started with three festival coins. Now we have eight. That means we gain five. Five corresponds to, by my calculations, uh, zero dot zero dot zero eight, uh, meaning eight percent, well, almost nine percent chance of getting the spooky festival coin. At least for me, for this account, that's that's what we have here. Uh, now this is not the end of the event for me because I I have. Um, Lots of things here still to do, so pretty sure I can get up to 69 quests completed. Not sure I can go further, but 69 seems possible because let's see, uh, these ones are done. I might still push for 2000 emeralds here. I didn't really want to spend much, but it's, it's not too, too hard, I guess. And then the energy. Um, for sure I will hit the 12,000, but maybe I will push for the 15,000, we'll see. I'm not sure I will make the uh, the extra efforts for the 18,000, because I really don't want to spend all these energy bottles. I still want to save some for uh, Christmas, right? So, you have to weight this down if you want to spend everything on one event or save for others. I'm not planning to, to, to reach this marker, this will drain up my, my emeralds. And here, this is where I hope to get a bunch more. 
so I'm I'm planning. So I have about seven hundred uh, worth of souls in um, each account with chests with hero soul stone chests. So these ones here. So I have all these four things combined. It's about like seven hundred and seven fifty for another account. And um, oopsie, not here. And I didn't want to spend also all of them, but maybe, maybe I can spend 200, 250, 300 and save the rest for Christmas, something like that. Which means at 500, I can aim for maybe not the 50s because the 50s won't take me anywhere, but maybe unless I get 50 soul stones from the campaign, <laughs> it seems hard. But um, maybe we can aim for the 800 mark here would be possible. So you see, I have some room to get to get some rewards here. So that this would be um, two, maybe three quests. And not really here. Um, yeah, not really here. I don't know if I want to push for the emeralds, but. Yeah, maybe I can push here a little bit, but you know, uh, yeah, maybe I can push here one more. Uh, that would be two, maybe three, maybe four. Then uh, for sure one more. So I see uh, three to five, three to six, maybe three to seven, maybe. So it's possible to reach the sixty-nine for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit harder to get here but for the 69 I can do it more or less effort I can do it as mostly free to play player all right um, so that means I will get extra of those ghost candy but I, I won't uh, record those anymore as you, you know already for this account we had uh, uh, an average of uh, eight nine percent possibility of getting the the coin let's see now um, Let's see now for the other account, and now we can already do some quick math here. Um, but this would probably be the same. So one maybe here, uh, one for sure. Maybe maybe two here, then uh, uh, maybe one here. Then again maybe may, uh, one two maybe three. So it's about the same maybe up to seven more uh, of these quests done so for sure I can get to 69 if I put any any uh, reasonable effort into this so now we go here and we see how much candy ghost candy we have uh, oh wait what the hell happened <laughs> on the wrong account okay uh, sorry for that that was silly that was silly of me but uh, okay let's like, take a look again so we had 61 out of 69 that means we need to do eight quests to get anywhere um, for this reward here this one is still possible and uh, we are a bit behind here so suppose we can we can go at least two maybe three maybe four here so, uh, here it's it's more easier to get the 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 reward for 35 definitely and then it's the same here and it's the same here more or less and so it's also possible I think there's not really much difference because um, while this is the same and while this is about the same too this one is much easier so it's for sure we can get this one level um, but this one sh forget it I'm not, <laughs> not spending how much emeralds would be this be would be uh, if if every chest would be 90 emeralds because is they're not they, they the first two for each boss is 90 but then it grows to 200 that just that would be 1,800 emeralds I'm not spending those emeralds forget it <laughs> I'm not rich man <laughs> um, we're gonna have to rely on on these easier task and then and then we'll see but it's possible now opening opening we have 
also three coins at the moment and we have 13,000 almost 14,000 candy so 13,925 divided by 250 that's 55 I'll start opening and then we'll pause and then we'll see at the end how many we have right <laughs> let's go for this ah uh, we didn't get the first but we have time to to do this so check back in a little bit so just a quick uh, update here we just got two coins straight <laughs> one after the other that's lucky <laughs> maybe maybe we can keep on <laughs> keep on like this <laughs> okay all right we are finished with the openings we have now 12 we had three so we got substantially more that was nine i mean that um five compared to nine that's quite a feat huh and re regard something on the other account we had a chance to open 57 57.4 and here we had a chance to open 55.7 so in essence 55 here compared to uh, 57 so two more on the other account but still we got uh almost the double amount here uh, okay so fantastic um, that means 12 minus the 3 we already had uh, divided by the 55 we could open here that's a 16% chance according to my calculation for this account uh, so um, Facebook account wins <laughs> maybe they're more lucky in Facebook accounts <laughs> who knows um right so as we we wrap up um i would like to maybe mention a few things that you can get get from the the shop but i would also want to remind something here or I clarify something here i'm um i'm mostly a free to play player that means i i spend the valkyrie favor on my accounts and then very rarely like every i don't know every three months every six months i might i might not always i might buy um the uh, a bundle an, an x4 bundle like these ones but when they are x4 um one of these cheaper ones like uh, five euro or nine euro i i don't even know if i ever got the nine year i didn't get any of these uh, for sure but probably the five euro one and and that's all i get uh and then we had the also the the astral season and the elemental season one time um and i got those for each account and that was it all right so when i when i say i'm not rich i'm not spending much that's how much i'm spending not much <laughs> so i spent i spent those astral seasons to get all the all the the rewards and astral and elemental season so the battle pass the passes and i got uh perhaps two three of those x4 bundles of the five year ones supposedly and the the valkyrie here okay so that's that's my investment on these accounts the the the, the web and bra and the facebook account so back to the back to what we can um get from here so a reminder compared to the mobile version of the game um typically the event ends at the end of the event okay and then you have 24 more hours to shop with whatever you currencies you got okay um and it sh shows there written we have 24 more hours 23 more hours whatever uh, remaining till the shop is closed in the uh, browser uh, versions uh, that doesn't show and as far as i know when it ends the shop ends i i, I don't know why is this why is it like this i don't like this i think this is stupid but it's it's what it is so be sure to uh, to spend resources in the next 21 hours okay you don't <laughs> don't don't let that slip so now uh on to what we can get i'm not doing the actual shopping now um as i typically do but i will just go over 
and try to identify things that would be of value. So in my in my opinion, don't get the summoning X unless you're desperate to get certain souls to evolve your pets. Don't get those. I think it's wasteful. Uh, some YouTubers have said that the skin stones are worth it. I th I think so, but um, it's not. It's not going to be the thing that I'm going to get because I, I have uh, a lot of these stockpiled as I'm trying to decide where to go with my heroes so I would instead get, get something else and then um, and then we have the hero soulstone chests and uh, these might not be the best value depending on what you need to do or not however re remember something that other youtubers have said uh, getting this and then using it not just getting, using, you need to use it, not just keep it for December, okay? You, you get it and you use it. Getting this and using it will count towards the um, this quest here. So imagine I can, I, I have 700 uh, souls available on my chest, right? As I said. With that, if I get one, I have um, 800 and then if I get one more, then I have uh, 900. And if I want to keep 500 for Christmas, I can spend 400. Okay? If I can spend 400, I'm at 463. I can jump over to the 800 uh, quest here and get and get one, two, three, four. Four quests done in the case of, of this account. Okay? So that's um, a useful reminder. Okay? So if you are if you don't have your account very well developed and you're not needing so much uh, the um, the items here for the heroes or, or the pet items um, now actually the the, um, the items for the heroes that that's that's what costs the most here if you're not desperate for those this is an option get some of those uh, hero soul stone chests you can upgrade evolve your heroes you can count towards the quest you get more coin uh, maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> as a result and then you can spend extra afterwards another good option would be the chaos particles and uh, this is a good amount um, I, I really haven't went uh, uh, very f uh, far on uh, on the adventure so now I'm I'm able to do the 100 okay and um, I, I I can do the 110 but uh, n I didn't really try I think and um, so I definitely w didn't went to the uh, the 13 mission yet requiring uh, level, level 130 but you can see here uh, the the possible loot goes up to 310 and it decreases and uh, 179 here I don't really recall this is if this is what you can get per chest or the total maximum for all the chests but regardless if you count here the 300 mark at the uh, last um, at the last mission it would take two of those missions to get um, two of those missions and actually getting the chaos particles in the missions as rewards to get uh, to 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 make enough for uh, more than two to make enough for the for this uh, reward here so this is uh, I believe uh, worth it because it's it's it's, it's, um, it's a normal resource in the game, but it's not one of the easiest resources to get in the game. And then let's see, we have the spooky dolls, but um, why would I want the spooky dolls? Um, other people have have mentioned why you could want the spooky dolls, but. Um, my opinion you don't have anything here listing uh, properly and legally because this is uh, um, this is a loot box needs to have 
uh, information to be legal. But you don't have any information here uh, listing uh, the the uh, odds for whatever you can get from this. So doesn't have, I don't use. Okay, that's what I think. Um, moving on, we have the pet items. Pet items. Okay. Um, let's see. These ones are are. I'm not sure, but the uh, uh, one of the highest levels, or even the highest level, so the flawless moonstones. But the thing about them is that they don't come pre-charged, as other YouTubers have have spoken. And so let's pick one one of these and go over. Uh, the flawless sunstone. The moonstone will be for Kane, I guess. Uh, night no, would be for another one. Ah. I don't know <laughs> these ones. Okay, Moonstone. Um, this would be the 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 highest level items. That what I know. Okay, um, you will probably need more the chaos particles than the items. You would you will more often have more items than the than the chaos particles to upgrade them. And by the time you 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 have one pet at the highest rank um, and you move on to other to mo to other pets you probably will have enough enough uh, items to continue uh, upgrading those other pets and on and on and on and so you I don't think you will have often uh, uh, a great need for the for these items unless you're just starting to upgrade this rank and then you need some but it's, it's what I feel it would be a bit wasteful unless they would come pre-charged and not come pre-charged so I, I would skip these these um, pet items so that leaves the the items for the heroes and I really cannot speak for the red items because I haven't moved there in any of my accounts I never reached red account red uh, rank in any account so I cannot speak for all um, are really important they are we can make an exercise here like insatiable wing edges this sounds like astronaut stuff but in the end I can't really uh, recommend much this I've spoken about this in the past so he uses that he also uses the the helm of clear thoughts and uh, it actually uses a bunch of everything <laughs> everything here what's more probably more repeated would be maybe these gloves I don't know uh, I can't really say I'm not that experienced sorry <laughs> it looks like uh, looks like he uses a lot of different things so I don't know Yasmin she also uses a lot of things I, I think it's um, for the red items they are a bit more um, maybe a bit more balanced than the orange items the of course this is super hard to get all these amounts but it feels like everybody needs uh, more or less the same things like some some items repeat um, repeat over the over the hero so these ones they get also used here and, and you can make these exercises better it looks like there's not no cases like for uh, for example let's see let's see that would be Ziri I don't know if I have Ziri here I don't I have to switch accounts but Ziri is an example Ziri or even Dorian Dorian I think is an example too we don't need to switch if this is the example I want to show No, let's let's switch to to the other account. So the example I want to give is that some some heroes use way more uh, items of the same exact type, making it harder to making it harder to to progress on those on those heroes. And it doesn't look like at the first glance that I've saw here and there. Uh, where is Ziri? Ziri. Um, doesn't seem to be that that case uh, often for the red items my really very inexperienced impression of the red items 
So let's see, Ziri uses a lot of these blue plated armors. You can see every rank has at least one. This one has two of those, making it a bit hard to to progress. Okay, and there's more 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 heroes like that. So uh, for example, uh, I don't know, Celeste probably uses. Celeste is a mage, so so she uses a lot of rings and candles. So candles here, here, and here. Uh, a lot of rings in here, in, and uh, he uses the candles as again. And m candles and more candles, <laughs> so <laughs> you see. Um, she's a, a heavy user of candles. Um, less, less of rings, but also rings. Um, and Orion, I think, uses even more rings. Where is the Orion here? Orion. So this one is for the, the, the candles. And he uses rings here, yeah. The rings there. So anyways, th th there's some items that get very, very repeated. Look here, the the Lamar's card. One, two, three. Every every rank has at least one. But there's more here. So heavy heavy usage of certain items makes it hard to progress. Maybe the red items are a bit easier. So with that, um, you probably cannot go wrong uh, with buying any of these uh, red items. You just have to consider um, maybe ones that are more priority. Like for example, imagine I would I would like to bring um, maybe my tank first to to red to red plus one, for example. I would need these. So if I don't have enough of these, maybe I should buy some of those items, right? So uh, um, I'm a long way from getting from getting these ones. Or you can look at another way. Uh, maybe not the ones you need right right now, but the ones you have the least amount and that you know you will need for a hero, and then you try to get those. So you just make that exercise. For this one, I think for all of these are 200. So I don't have enough for any of them. <laughs> so in theory, any of them would get me anywhere because most likely the the heroes that I have will all of them all of them will need at least something in here that I could get. Okay? Then um then we have the the orange items. Orange or yellow, you can call it whatever. And um, just a quick uh, few highlights here. So, Song of the Valkyries, believe it's used by um, by uh, um, Astaroth, I think. And uh, Unity of Extremes is used by Kira and by Galahad. Uh, this Light of Distant Stars, if this is the right item, if the icon is not different as in mobile, this is used by... by uh, uh, Orion and Celeste, for example, Staff of Stubbornness used at least by Daredevil on mobile, I'm not sure here. And these ones are used by a bunch of heroes, I think, including uh, Astro, Dorian, and other tanks. This one by by mages like Orion and Celeste. Oppressor's Crown um, might be Kira, <laughs> or was it Astro too? I'm not sure. Astaroth, okay. So you just figure out uh, which ones are the m the same as the right items most useful for you, either now or in the future. You just look at these and, and see. I wouldn't be spending on the purple unless you really need something. Like you really need a panoptic orb and this, this item or the Book of Fate. These two items, they take a long, long time to build because of my experience um the rings and the candles often don't have a very a very high drop rate i think i can get often more of the um, those um handler items like these ones i don't keep forgetting the name where are they uh, 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 uh. these ones the giant slayers i think i get these more often so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> you just have to see 
what you feel about it about this and and look for the things that make more sense for you um regardless looking at what we have here uh, the the herd i cannot comment much but the orange i think i think all of them are useful okay you just look at what you have and i will i will give you um a recommendation uh regardless of the version of the game i would suggest that you always have two very different teams um so at least one magic and one physical or critical so two very different teams so that you can do two things um grow on two fronts uh with a bit of ease so they're not using necessarily the same items all the time to to upgrade and um then you can also fight more uh, teams in the competitions by having two different type of teams that you can use depending on, on what the enemy throws at you of course then you also have grand arena where you can use that and and uh, 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 last but not least now we have the ascension uh, already live and in a few days the 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 fights will start and you will need uh, up to five teams to fight the bosses so yeah, you will need all those heroes eventually anyways so those are my tips for the shop uh, personally I, I have no clue <laughs> at this point what to get because i haven't developed my 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 heroes a lot and not really very happy with drew he's not doing enough damage to 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 make me happy uh ishmael is doing more damage but it's my second um second uh damage dealer here for the second team and you see i, c I did a mistake here i went for Drew and ishmael one for each team and I neglected the magic team. I don't have a magic team, and now I, I I'm um, I'm in problems. <laughs> Whereas in my my Facebook account, uh, it's it's actually much easier to decide. And as as a result of the variation, I'm also having much better results on the competition. So I have here um, I have here Yasmin and and Heidi. So both of them do do um pure damage both of them do magic damage but there's few differences here because uh yasmin is also critical hit hero and um and then uh dance here also does physical we, we also have physical here celeste also does magic uh, Aurora also does magic, so there's a, a bit of variation here. And if I want, I can make make a different composition and and do uh, something more of a certain type of damage. For example, I can go all pure like this, and uh, maybe throw in a few more heroes in here. But I can go all pure. I can go uh, all physical by doing this, uh, whatever. <laughs> Uh, like that and it's mostly physical uh, can go all magic by doing magic pure by doing by doing this for example okay there's and with this there's variation in here so that's good um well i hope this was uh educative and uh, useful <laughs> i'm done with the with the demonstration of the shop it should be uh, much easier for me to pick items here. Probably I will just go here and see what's best for Yasmin now. Okay, I will need the Staff of Stubbornness. Very easy to, to, to look at that. Um, not all of these items are present there. So if I get this, I will, I will st stay a long while till I'm able to use that. Uh, even though I've stockpiled on orange items for a while because I uh, have been having difficulty in growing but still like i don't have enough to, to to build any of these things here and i do have a few stockpiled here but it, it won't get me far like i will need a bunch of these that i only have one but anyways i think i know where to go uh, with this account is is easier i can i can certainly focus on on two heroes of this bundle here i can go full Yasmin and Heidi, or even Yasmin and Celeste, 
either will be fine. I don't have to pick a tank, Astrod or Rora. I haven't, I haven't exactly um, made my choice on, on which one should be the the better one, but probably it's going to be Astrod uh, because this team needs a bit more defense. Um, but um, I know where to go with this account, and I hope that you also know where to go with your, <laughs> and that you make the best, the best choices out of that shop. I will leave you to that, and I um, wish you uh, a very good end of week. And um, leave a comment, a subscribe, or a like, whatever you feel like, and a like, whatever you feel like. I'll see you around. Bye bye. Thank you.